and Manhattan Clinic is dramatically changing the lives of people who battle MS. The treatment involves patients who use their own stem cells to fight the disease. In this month's Big Idea, Liz Dollam introduces us to a young mother who's already seen results. It's a very emotional thing for me to watch myself walking down the aisle. It's like, oh my God, that look at me and look at me now. Vicki Gill cherishes her wedding video because it helps her remember what it was like to walk without pain. Not long after this video was taken, Gill was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. She was just 24 years old. I was diagnosed in February of 2000. I knew something was going on two or three years before that. The mother of two young daughters was trying to keep up, but the disease was progressing. Eventually, Gill couldn't walk on her own. Since 2008, I went from somewhat relying on a cane to like barely being able to hold myself up. Determined to find a better treatment, Vicky came to the Tish MS Research Center of New York on the west side and met Dr. Saud Sadiq. She has been slowly getting worse over time and uh, has begun to have experienced a lot of falls. When the last time you fell? Probably seven months. Dr. Sadiq started this center in 2006, dedicating his life to treating and researching the disease. So it's a problem with the electrical system of the brain and spinal cord. When the electrical system affects the moving parts, you tend to get weakness of your legs. It can affect the eyes, it can affect bladder function, bowel function. Some 400,000 people have MS in the United States and 2.5 million around the world. There is still no cure. There's groundbreaking research happening right in this lab. The team at the Tisch Multiple Sclerosis Research Center of New York is helping patients reverse their disability in a way that's never been done before. Recently, we have started an FDA-approved stem cell trial that uses the patient's own stem cells, which we take out from the bone marrow, and we try to inject it into the spinal fluid, and we are hoping that we can regenerate the insulation material that is lost. This video shows doctors extracting stem cells from the patient's bone marrow. A large needle goes into the chest or hip. Doctors then aspirate or suction a lifetime supply of stem cells out in about 30 seconds. 20 patients are part of the study. Vicki is one of them and had the procedure done. I was glad a nurse was in the room and said, you're going to feel like your breath's being taken away. I was glad they said that because that's exactly how I felt just for like 10 seconds. In a process unique to Tish MS, researchers in the lab harvest stem cells from the bone marrow and manipulate them into brain-like stem cells. We are injecting these brain stem cells into the spinal fluid of patients in the hope that that regenerates the insulation material because they go to areas of injury and then they can repair. The results have been promising. Seven of ten patients have shown signs of improvement. Most patients will say they have a headache or a slight fever for a few days or maybe one or two days. But other than that, we haven't had any side effects. Now Vicky can walk without a cane for some time. Her legs are getting stronger. I don't let me push them together. Yeah, you see, now with your abductors and your leg strength, you should be walking without a cane. Before Dr. City came up with this procedure, there was nothing ever to give people hope. It's hard for you to imagine going back, I'm sure, right. to the way no. things were. No, I don't want to go back. Yeah. No. So these are happy tears. Yes. Happy tears are good. The study will continue through April, and the findings will be submitted to the FDA. Dr. Sadiq hopes to bring relief to other patients soon. It will be the first time in neurological disease like MS that you can actually reverse the symptoms. So that would be a very significant step forward. For Vicky, she can vision a future when she walks again, maybe even walking her daughters down the aisle. Thinking about the future now is exciting. I mean, who knows, right? Who knows what the future can hold? I never thought I would be walking without relying on my cane and my counter and my anything I could grab onto. It's very exciting. Liz Dollum, Fox 5 News. So it's important to note that since this is a clinical trial, there is no cost to rece receive Dr. Sadiq's stem cell treatment. And to see other big idea stories that feature science and technology like Liz's, well, head to our YouTube page and see a whole lot more.